It is officially May, and in just a few weeks, Memorial Day will mark the unofficial start to summer. But that weekend also brings an event locals and visitors from all over count down to each and every year. That's right. This is exciting. NBC5's Adrian Pastor joins us live in Burlington now with a preview of the 34th annual Vermont City Marathon. And Adrian, organizers say it's full speed ahead with some key changes this year. Yeah, that's exactly right, Lauren and Zuri. We are live along Penny Lane on the Burlington Bike Path, where thousands of runners will be taking on the Vermont City Marathon. And so much work does go into this, and I want to show you just how early this goes into. So, take a look at this. Small green dot, don't think too much of it. This marks the start and finish of the 13.1 loop that is the Vermont City Marathon, and that just goes to show you how planning, you know, is so early in this process. But organizers say that it is a family-friendly event for everyone. It's an annual tradition. Um, to me, it's 26 miles of highlights. That draws thousands of people to the Queen City each year, marking the beginning of an eventful spring and summer season in Burlington. The year 34 here, it seems like yesterday, it was 1989 and you know, there's a group of runners in town that was talking about what can we do for a race here? Uh, we've come a long way. Joe Connolly, executive director at Run Vermont, is no stranger to the Vermont City Marathon. In the 1980s, he was a participant in the first race, kicking off decades of tradition. As he and his team work to bring the next event to life, he says this year's race is shaping up to be a special one to watch. A pretty strong field. Um, we've got about uh, 15 men and about a dozen women. Um, entered in that, and I think we're going to have real good competition up front this year. Since the COVID-19 pandemic, the race course has undergone some changes. This year, a new route will accommodate some recent work in the city of Burlington, like the new Amtrak station. Last year, um, when runners got back to Perkins Pier, um, they went straight up Maple Street um, to Pine Street. This year, um, in order to get around Amtrak's operations, we'll take the runners right to the um, to College Street where Echo is. After connecting with Main Street, the course will run similar to previous years, with the Letty Park area being cut short to accommodate extra space at Waterfront Park. And with that new route, for the first time ever, the wheelchair division will run a half marathon in the awards category. We know that a marathon is a bucket list, um, you know, no, no matter whether you're disabled or able-bodied. So um, any uh, wheelchair racers who want to race full marathon, sure, no problem. It's just not going to be an awards category this year. And no matter how you race, organizers with Run Vermont say, as always, Marathon Weekend will have something for everyone to enjoy. And it's off to the races Sunday, May 28th, starting at 7 a.m. And you can count on NBC5 News to be your home for full coverage of the Vermont City Marathon. I'm live in Burlington, Adrian Pastor, NBC5 News.